Hey everybody, Mary Z back once again for Voice Hacks. So today we are going to be doing a dope reaction video and I've actually brought along with me a guest vocalist and vocal instructor. This is Carlos Zima. Thanks for having me here. Well, thanks That's for awesome. coming. I really appreciate it. Carlos is a fantastic vocalist. He sings for the band Immortal Guardian. Incidentally, we're actually going to be playing on the same festival in Vancouver in April at It'll the Hyperspace. Yeah. yeah. So it seemed only fitting. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Beast in Black. <laughs> you know, you guys know sometimes I am familiar with the band, but we're going to check out a video that I don't think you've seen before. No. A song that I'm not as familiar with. And we're going to break down everything the vocalist does. Let's check it out and let's see what's going on. I really like it. <laughs> it has a dope, like, it's pretty dope. I like the synths, that's just me. But <laughs> Damn, bro, the man came in strong. Love the riff. Vocal mix is sick. Very skilled players. to let it rip now. <laughs> I like the drive. Oh. 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 Shit. I would totally drop the mic if they were fine. Oh. That was great. Oh my god. Oh, brother man profoundly slayed on that one. Yo, that was dope. That was like getting up to the lost horizon. Like. Oh, that felt, that fulfilled my soul. Oh, that's great. That's so great. Yeah, this guy's so sick, dude. You're not afraid of the bringing the legacy of heavy metal Dude. into the music. Yeah, and they have this like ridiculous that disco beat, that fucking catchy chorus too. So like very well read. Crazy shit. I love this shit. This this is my jam. <laughs> You're gonna be jamming this now. This is sick. This dude, the brother man, is fucking killing it. It's so good. The beast in black, huh? Yeah. Wow. I'm very impressed. What do you think? Dude, oh, I'm I'm blown away by this guy. Do, do you like that heat when he goes through the head voice? Yeah. He does that, I do. that heat. <laughs> Sorry. It's like Bishop had a head <laughs> So yeah, I really like the heat when he goes through the, the high notes. He brings that, that brightness to it, like very clear, right? And when he was on his mid-range also going still on, on chest voice, when he had that extra grip from the belting. Yes. But very controlled, very well projected, very well put. I really like that. Very tasty, right? He's a really technically skilled singer, like by far, like And you can tell by, like you said, like he's bringing in and out the grit, he's switching like from belting to mixing. To... Cleans were beautiful in the beginning, right? Yeah, super pure falsetto yeah. in the beginning, like. Crystalline. Oh, oh, great. He, he goes for it, man, he goes for it. This is getting legendary here. <laughs> This is some sick, sick work, guys, y'all. 
out up there for sure. This is some great shit. That was do- that was damn. dope. That Beasting was... black. God damn. So dope. So dude, dope, dude. Killed it. You know, some of the best things about this guy is his amazing vocal technique and the way that he's able to not only change styles, but he just owns up to the fact that he has a high voice. Like, exactly. Clearly like a countertenor, you know, mm-hmm. super high voice person. He's not going to sing super low, but he owns it 100% and he doesn't care. Like, he just owns what he can do and then like oh, shreds no. those he kills it he High absolutely notes. kills yeah. it uh, every note uh, i like when i hear the singer singing every note like he or she means it you know yes it's, it's like every note it's very clear every very well put and very well expressed mm-hmm. even on the softer parts you know when you have it's still soft but is um very well interpreted you know yeah i agree his opening stuff that falsetto where it's very it doesn't have any heat on it and he's just mixed voice and he's just lets it be clean and pure and he just that's his voice you know it's it's like pretty sounding he he just owns it and uh that's really the lesson here i think that most of us can take away from this is that whether your voice is like super low like mine or super high like this guy you kind of just need to own it <laughs> and exactly. you need to go for it, you know, a hundred percent. And he just does balls to the wall. Like. Exactly. And mm-hmm. I think, I think for every, and I've noticed that on, on your stuff, you're a very, very smart singer. So you basically, I think the, the best that the singer can get out of themselves, I think in situations like this also going with, along the lines of what you said is that finding throughout your range, the best way to represent every note in every different tone yes, is the perfect way. It. So if you're smart about discovering which note got to have which dynamic, which tonality, and go from, from there on, right? Like if yes. it's a clear or a, or a heat or fry or whatever drive you want to put into it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And that's kind of definitely the way I approach things and the way that I kind of show people to do things. This was awesome. Thank you so much for being Thank on you. the Voice X Thanks channel. It's honor. such a pleasure. You. you guys, Thank check you. out Carlos's band, Immortal Guardian. He's also done some cool stuff with another band, Heaven's Guardian. Yes. Lots of guardians. Check him out. And he also gives voice lessons. I'll put his info below if you're interested in reaching out to him or learning anything more about him. Thank you so much for your reaction on our channel. We really appreciate Thank it. You. I will see you guys later back with more reactions. Bye. Thanks, y'all.